seen the way this guy insulted me. Hmm, that guy doesn't deserve you at all. As in eh, even after he insulted me, I still swallowed my pride and apologized to him. Stop wasting your time with this guy. You're a very beautiful woman. You can have any woman of your choice. Thanks bro, but it's not about having any man. You know how much I love free man. Starting from the scratch with another man will be difficult. It won't. Just give it a try. Stop giving this guy the opportunity of abusing you anyhow he feels like. I'm not even thinking of going back to him. I won't forgive him this time. He has hurt me to the last. Good. Show him you are not a weakling. Make him understand that you gave him the opportunity of hurting you because you were in a relationship with him. You are right. I will break up with him. I can't be with such a man. That's the spirit. Don't worry, you will, be, you will find a better man. I don't even need any man. I want to be on my own for now. No, don't say that. You have to give another man the chance to prove he loves you. Free man has hurt me in so many ways. I don't want to think about love for now. It's okay. I understand. Don't worry too much about it. You will forget, you'll forget about him soon. Yes, I know. It's just a matter of time. Have you eaten? I'm not hungry. I haven't been able to eat anything ever since I came back home yesterday. No dear, you have to eat something. Don't give him the satisfaction of seeing you hurt. Prove to him you are a strong woman. But I don't have appetite. I don't feel like eating anything. Just try, don't worry. I will take you to the best restaurant, where I know they cook very well. You will eat to your satisfaction. Based on me. Wow, that's so sweet of you. Yes, and after that I will take you to where we can play games together. With that, you'll be able to forget about him easily. Thank you very much, Larry. That is why I call you my best friend. Alright then, let's go. Hello, Dad. Hello, my son. Good to have you back. How are you doing, Dad? As you can see, I'm great. You look good. How was business over there? Oh, Dad, it wasn't easy at all. Persuading those people was a tough one. I knew you would do well in persuading them, my son. I tried. I'm glad I was able to get the contract. It wasn't easy at all. Proud of you, son. Thanks, Dad. Welcome home. Thanks, Dad. I'm glad to be back. Yes, son. It's good to be home. Oh, Stephen, good evening. Good afternoon, Stella. My love, how are you? Why did you enter my house without knocking? When I came, the door was wide open, and I saw you girls from outside. So that was why you barged in just like that? I didn't barge in. I just walked in. I am sorry if I interrupted something. So what is the difference? You came to someone's house, and you couldn't knock, and you are still trying to defend yourself. I am sorry for the way I barged in. It won't happen again. I want the next time to start now. Go back and knock. Ah, uh -uh now, sis, the young man has apologized already now. Just let it go. This matter doesn't concern you. Just keep quiet there. Don't let me face you this evening. As far as you both pay for the house, then it concerns me. Stop harassing him. He has apologized already, so let it go. If you annoy me this evening one more time, it won't be good for both of us. I am your elder sister. Show some respect. Please, there is no need to fight. What should I do now, Miriam? Go back and knock. Okay then, if that will stop your anger. Go home. I am not in the mood to receive visitors today. Ah, Miriam, stop this now. What is bad about what I just said? I am not in the mood to receive any visitor. Simple. You, what you're doing is not fair at all. Why are you always taking his love for granted? I told you before to stay out of my relationship with him. It is not your business. Oh, really? Yes, really. Respect yourself. Then if you don't want him here, go and tell him to go. Instead of making him waste his time here. 
What are you? His mouthpiece or his PA? The way you're treating this guy is not fair at all. She doesn't want to see me. It's not like she doesn't want to see you. She's not in a good mood right now. And she doesn't want to pass the aggression on you. That's why she wants you to go and come back later. Okay, I understand. There's no problem. I will go and come back later. I'm really sorry for the way she spoke to you. I am used to it. Please take care of her for me. I will. Take care of yourself. Hello, Nath. Silva, what's up? I'm very well. I'm glad you could make it. I had to come. It sounded so urgent. Yes, it is. What's up? Hope all is well. How is Sarah? Sarah is fine. I called this meeting because of her. Tomorrow is Sarah's birthday. Oh, wow. That's good news. Yeah. I want us to plan a surprise party for her. That sounds nice. What do you have in mind? I'm thinking of a small get-together party. I have talked to a few old friends who have decided to come. That's nice. So how do you come in? I would like you to get her at home tomorrow. We should go shop for a dress for her. All you have to do is drive to my house tomorrow and get her to the venue. Make sure she wears the dress. That's fine. I can do that. Thank you, Nate. Good morning, sir. Mom, you remember what today is? What is today? Mom, don't tell me you forgot again. Go straight to the point, sir. Mom, today is my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Where is Sylvia? She left this morning. Okay, you can go now. I'm busy. Hello, Sarah. Nat, what are you doing here? I'm here to wish you a happy birthday and I got you this. A dress? Oh, wow. Yes, a dress. Just put it on. Let's go out together. Oh my god, thanks, Nat. You made my day. You're welcome, beautiful. Give me a few minutes. Let me go get set. Sure. see your brake lights throughout yesterday where were you <laughs> my dear i was at home oh. i was at home with my boo your boo okay which of your boo do you have a boo i don't know of you know me well you know i'm not a flat i have just one boo which you know wait are you talking about freeman yes of course who else apart from him but i thought you broke up with him as you said break up call break down knee now you want to put sand for my gary abby you are the one that sat here a few days back and told me how he humiliated you, slapped you and chased you out of his house, that you were tired and you were going to break up with him. Stop telling me what I said. I know what I said. So where did you change your mind? All those things I said back then were because of anger. I was hurt. I didn't say it because I meant it. I said it because I was hurt. I needed something to ease the pain. If you know how weird that sounds right now, you will stop talking. How can you say you would break up with someone just to ease the pain the person caused you? <laughs> 